says, what's going on in the markets, man? What's going on? Did I pick the worst time to start this little competition? <laughs> no, no, it's never a bad time to start, right? Never, ever, ever bad time to start investing. Is it? <laughs> How y'all doing? I hope everyone is doing well. I am Dave, and this is Seeking Gains. And this is, real quick, real-time, $25 a week into four funds. Let's see how they do. That's what it's all about. And hopefully inspiring you to invest with just a few dollars. I mean, like I said, because there's a lot, some people, we don't have a lot of money, right? So we take a little bit of money and invest. This is not my main accounts. This is specifically for this video, just to do a little bit of an experiment, I guess. If you want to call it that. All right. So... I don't have anything super exciting <laughs> to report as far as the funds go. We actually were down a little bit from last week, I believe, on all four of them. And I don't think a whole lot's changed as far as the uh, the numbers go, except for I've added more money. Now, on this week, I missed Monday. I, could, I, did, not include, I did not purchase on Monday. I purchased on Tuesday. I, I was so busy uh, on Monday, I just could not... And honestly, kind of forgot that's how busy I was and then realized when I got home that I had forgot to invest the $25 in each fund on Monday. So Tuesday it was. <laughs> so Tuesday, here it'll pop down there below. Uh, and I believe that was the 13th. I have to go back and look, but I think I did that correctly. Anyway, the deposit was for Degro $24.95 at a cost of $51.23 and it bought me 0.487 shares. SCHD 24.98 at 76.16 and that bought me 3.28 shares. VIG I paid 24.93 at 157.78 and that bought me 1.58 shares and VYM 24.98 at 105.40 and that was a 0.237 shares. So over the course of 11 weeks, man, 11 weeks. I can't believe it's been 11 weeks already. I have accumulated a grand total for each fund, four point, uh, four point, where did I get four? 5.44 shares of Degro at a, my cost basis at $50.62. SCHD, I'm now at 3.612 shares at a cost of $76.43. VIG, 1.772 shares, and I'm at $155.10. Uh, VYM, 2.6 shares, and I'm 106.03. And the big results for the week here, let me scroll down here a little bit so I can see a little bit better because it's kind of kind of conflicting. Uh, total growth. Total growth. Degro, $1.96, and that is a positive 0.71%. Uh, SCHD, negative. 3.53% or $3.53 dollars and that is a negative 1.28% VIG up 3.87% and that is a positive 1.4% and then VYM at the bottom there is a negative $5.06 and one uh, it's a negative 1.84% <laughs> trying to get that out I got something going on in the background here and it's, it's kind of it's drawing my attention away from what I'm doing here, man. It's bugging me. Sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. So my current values of with my investments over the last 11 weeks, man, has now come up to Degro $277.33. SCHD $272.52. That's VIG $278.70. And VYM $270.63, which gives me a grand total of, of my investment as of current value right now, $1,099.18. <sighs> and there's the close for you guys. Uh, they closed on Friday at $50.98, $75.45, and $104.09. You know, and I just realized I usually start the video with. The votes for the week for you for you guys voting who what team you're voting for uh SCHD or you know so and I and I'm almost 100% positive the only votes I had this week were for SCHD I don't think anything else changed so Degro and that chart will pop up here is 
four votes so far. SCHD, which is just running away with it, man. Uh, you guys are really into SCHD, and that's 30. VIG at six, and VYM at seven. So there you go. That's your guys' votes. Not my. I didn't. Like I said, I've never added my vote, but you all know as of a couple of videos ago that I am. I'm an SCHD. SCHD fan as well. And it was funny, and I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name, but uh, he said something along the lines of, uh, I, I'm one of the only people that can make SCHD look bad. <laughs> That's not my goal, man. Uh, I love all these funds, uh, and I own three of them outside of this little experiment. Um, and I believe uh, you all know now, uh, VIG I, did not, I do not own. And uh, VIG, well, let's go see. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the lead, right? Um, well, actually, let's jump over and do the week in review real, real quick. Because I'm all out of order today. Because there's this, this whole bunch of stuff going on in the background. It's just screwing me up. So let's do the week in review. All right. So let's go back and review. Uh, I used to do a week in review when I did the chart uh, with the candlesticks and all that. But I felt that was, again, I, I hate repeating myself. But, you know, there's people joining all the time. So... Uh, I used to do a chart with the candlesticks, and I felt that that was dragging at the video, so I thought it'd be quicker just to go into what the percentage of the week was, and now I'm going to add in the monthly performance, and not only the monthly performance, I'm going to add now in the six-month performance, because I'm, I'm getting, I'm halfway there almost, so I figured I was actually going to wait till I got to the six-month thing and do the six-month performance thing, but I thought I would just throw it in there now and just, just get it rolling, so enough, enough, enough rambling, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Degro over the last week is down 0.22% and that is an 11 cent drop. Now the dollar amount I'm not as focused on as, as much as the percentage because each one is worth more than the other and it but just so you guys know it's it's 11 cents. All right. So SCHD over the past week was down 0.76% and that is a negative uh, 58 cents. VIG down 0.15% and that is a negative 24 cents. And VYM down 1.1% and that is a dollar 16. Now over the past month's performance, now I've been doing this this 11 weeks, so it's a little, you know, I'm a little over this, but it's just so you can see what the past month's performance was is Degro is up. 1.66% and that gives it a, a growth of 80, 83 cents. Uh, SCHD down 1.15% at point negative 88 cents. I was going to say point there. Uh, VIG is up 2.47% and that is a $3.79 uh, increase. VYM and my phone, my thing's getting ready to fade out there. Uh, VYM down 2.01%, and that is a negative $2.14. But over the past six months, how have these funds done? Okay, here we go. Degro is up 11.9%, which is a $5.42 increase. SCHD is up 14.45% and a $9.58 increase. VIG is up 11.74% and that is a $16.53 increase. And VYM, you are up 9.99% at a $9.45 increase. So there you go. Again, focus more on the percentages because, like I said, each one is worth more than the other. So the dollar amounts are obviously going to be slightly different. But uh, I thought... Uh, I might start using this set a little more. I'm gonna have to make a logo. What do you guys think? And just put a little uh, logo in the background. So I'll like I do with the other channel. Yeah, I don't know. All right, back over to the other side, man. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's uh, this now. Let's go to the leaderboard uh, for the past 11 weeks. And now I, I'm pretty sure I'm not in this image <laughs> anymore. Because I think the last two weeks I'm kind of peeking over the. <laughs> <laughs> I was peeking over the over the the uh, insert there. So as of right now, again, it is a identical for the last or well, no, I shouldn't say identical. It's it's VIG is still in a lead. What did you say, Dave? VIG is in the lead again? Yes, Dave. Uh, VIG is still in a lead. Yeah, now <laughs> so VIG Degro SCHD has now uh, two weeks in a row has hold thir held third place, and VYM is now in the fourth place slot again for the two weeks in a row. 
So VIG is it's just taking a, going away, it's carrying it away, man. Right now we are at what one, two, three, four, five, six weeks of the eleven weeks VIG has held the lead, and Degro is just dominating the second slot with the same amount. It's it it, it seems like when VIG is doing good, Degro is just right behind it, um, and it leaves the other two behind. Uh, again, I am not trying to make any of these look bad. <laughs> I'm <laughs> really not, guys. Uh, this was just a little fun experiment, and, uh, and I'm trying to keep it fun. I hope I'm keeping it fun because uh, that's what you know, it, 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 it can't be serious about everything, man. Life's too short to be serious all the time. And I know it's money and it's important. Yes, it is. You don't want to lose money. Nobody ever wants to lose money, um, but uh, you, you need to invest because these bank accounts ain't going to get it. Ain't going to cut it for your uh, for your retirement or whatever it is you're trying to achieve, right? Right? Yeah, right. So. I guess I will end it there, guys. Um, as always, I truly, I truly appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Uh, I'm, I'm actually blown away that I'm at the level I am already with subs. I, I never really expected many people to, to, to dig what I'm doing here. So I, again, thank you, thank you so much for, uh, for watching, man. All right, I'll end it there. I will see you guys next week. Let's see. Come on. What are these other funds doing? Can VIG still hold that lead? Dave. <laughs> All right, guys. See you. Have a great week, man.